1993, the New York Times published a photograph of a young emancipated Sudanese girl kneeling on the ground. Stalked by a vulture, the photograph, taken by South African photojournalist Kevin Carter, sent shockwaves through the United States and remains one of the most influential photos in the ongoing debate over the ethics of photojournalism. The Times was flooded with letters asking of the fate of the young girl, but the Times merely responded, quote, photographer reports she recovered enough to resume her trek after the vulture was chased away. A massive controversy erupted over the image, the photographer and the girl. Carter claimed he had crouched to take a photo of the girl when the vulture landed behind her. The girl, eru the, the girl had been momentarily left by her parents as they collected food from visiting relief efforts. She was only able to walk a few steps at a time. She would sit there for a while and then after a while she would struggle to get up. She needed to use her hands. And he supposedly waited 20 minutes for the vulture to spread its wings, but a more striking image. Just near this girl was a vulture. eventually chased the bird away. Carter then sat under a tree, smoked a cigarette, and cried thinking of his own daughter. By the spring of 1993, Sudan had engrossed in a civil war for the past 10 years and faced widespread famine. The Sudanese government finally allowed the United Nations access to dev devastated areas, as well as food and medicine delivery to those in need. Although the crisis had been forgotten by much of the larger world, Countless inflammatory letters were written calling, the, calling Carter's negligence heartless and inhumane. I've never heard of such rot in all my life. Who's going to stop and pick up a child? I have shots from spools of film that he took in, on that same assignment. And they taught, these children are all over the show. Is Kevin supposed to go there on a mission of mercy? He's there as a, a photographer and he's got to keep his emotions in check and do his job. However, the image garnered an outpouring of support for those in Sudan and became a significant piece in increasing awareness of the war. Some praised Carter for calling attention to the crisis, believing that without Carter's image, the world would have remained ignorant. That picture hadn't played. Today, we still wouldn't know how to spell Sudan. It became the catalyst for incredible awareness for change. Carter later admitted he regretted not pick him, picking up the child, calling it the most horrifying experience of his career. Carter struggled with the mental illness and addiction before taking the photo, but the public's damnation of the actions exacerbated the incredible guilt Carter already felt. On May 23, 1994, Carter was given the Pulitzer Prize for photography for the picture. However, the joys that the award brought were short-lived. Carter's continued battle with mental illness and addiction and immense guilt from the photo proved to be too much for Carter to bear. Two months later, on July 27, 1994, Kevin took his own life. He was 33. His suicide note pointed to the haunting effects of his occupation and said that he had gone to join one of his fellow friends, a fellow photojournalist who had been recently killed on the job. The Sudanese civil war that initiated the famine came to an end in 2005. Carter's photo awakened the world to the famine in Sudan. Although he remained blind to these achievements, Carter's photo ignited a controversy and became an important fixture in the ongoing ethical debate in photojournalism, primarily questioning the level of involvement expected for a journalist. It may be difficult for people to understand, but as a photojournalist, my first instinct was to make a photograph. As soon as that job was done and the child moved on, I felt completely devastated. I, I think I tried to pray, I tried to, to talk to God, um, to assure him that if he got me out of this place, I would always, I would change my life.